Hey folks, Rory here. Here's your New Market Weekly update for the week ending Friday, January 18th, 2013. This past week in New Market, we saw 37 new listings come on the market. Six semis were new to the market, averaging just shy of $406,000 this week, with the high water mark being a nice home over in the Woodland Hills subdivision. Six townhomes were listed, ranging in price from $269,000 up to a high of $429,900. We saw two condo apartments listed, averaging $333,000, and this week we saw three vacant lots listed. And they ranged in price from two seventy nine up to three twenty nine nine. We had one link over on Patterson Street uh, listed this week, which, by the way, is also sold, the sole conditional that is. And of the remaining nineteen detached properties, they ranged in value from a low of four hundred nine thousand for a home in Central Newmarket up to a high of one point one nine eight million for a really nice home over in Stonehaven. Once again, we saw. 38% of the new listing activity coming on the market in the MLS neighborhoods of Stonehaven and Woodland Hills, with only 35% of the inventory this week over the 500,000 mark. In the same time period, we saw a grand total of nine firm sales reported. This past week, we had one townhome sell and one semi. Of the remaining seven detached home sales, they range from a low of $369.9 over, uh, over in Quaker Hill up to a high of almost $900,000 over in Stonehaven and only one sale in Woodland Hills. Remember now, we saw in these two market segments of Woodland Hills and Stonehaven, we saw nearly 30 new listings come on the market in the last two weeks and only three sales reported. Not the kind of trend you want to see if you live in either of those locations and you plan to sell soon. As I'm sure many of you know by now, I monitor our list to sales ratio very, very closely, and I'll continue to keep my eye on that stat as the year progresses. Probably just a bit too early to be getting too, too excited about market conditions, but last week we saw our list to sales ratio come in at 10 to 1, followed by much better numbers this week at 4.1 to 1. Still not a great stat for sellers, folks, but once again, it is early. As you know, I monitor those stats closely, so stay tuned for next week's update. I'm Rory Campbell. Thanks for listening, and have yourself a great day.